guys how are you doing today ladies and gentlemen i'm sure there's ladies out there watching uh watching this video and if there are welcome guys okay just quickly i'm um, just literally as you can see uploading uh microsoft 2020 a couple of little tips for you don't forget i'm sure you know this but just in case you don't very very important don't update your flight simulator until you've taken everything out of your community folder okay guys take it out your folder put it in another folder even if you create a new folder just make sure you take everything out put it in that folder before you update the flight sim okay also once you've done that make sure if you look on here you'll see i'll show you go to profile okay and then you're going to look for content manager there we go click on that it doesn't finish once you do the initial upload you have to come into the contents manager and update all of these in here and you can select all at the top and then just update it leave it let it do its thing and uh, you know a couple little things there guys but it does make a difference you might think you're playing the new update but you're really not until you do this all right so pointing that out to you so you know right okay what we're going to do now I, i've done a video on this before but i thought I, i'll do another one because there's a lot of people that do love the pmg uh, 737-700 so look let's select this aircraft I'm going to show you the way I do it okay guys it just makes it nice and simple and um, you know get you in the sky nice and quick okay and using the FMS the full flight computer which is pretty cool okay so what you do guys you select your aircraft select your liveries if you want to I've only got the one on here right now so we're going to select that one I'm going to do a simple flight from Orlando and we are going to go to let's go to Tampa KTPA so we're going to go to Tampa got to select Tampa okay so we've got Orlando to Tampa there's the route you can see it on there direct route okay then we're going to go here and we're going to select low altitude IFR okay departures let's pick a departure let's have a look here uh, Let's go through them. You can see some of them take you way out. So you really don't want to use those. We divided on 3.6. So there are a few here that are pretty good. I think, let's have a look. Yeah, this one's pretty good on the, the CITR. Now what I would recommend you do is write that down. Okay, so you don't forget. I do it all the time. So make sure you write it down. It's going to make your life a lot easier when you get to the FMS guys. Okay, all right, now, uh, approach. Okay, so we're gonna pick an arrival. Again, with these, we're gonna select runway, uh, let's have a look here, going into Tampa. Uh, I'm gonna pick ILS 19 right. Okay, guys, so again, write that down, ILS 19 right. We know it's 36 right from Orlando. And we're going to select an arrival. Okay, so we go down to the 19 right arrivals. Normally, it's near the bottom is the better one. You don't want to do that, guys. You can see that's going to take you forever. So you really, some of these uh, arrivals and that are crazy. They're just way out of the way. But they obviously have them for a reason. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's go up here a bit more. Let's pick, try and find a good one. Oh no, that's way out. What's that one look like? Yeah, it's not too bad. So we're going to stick to that one. Write that down. ILS 19 right. We're looking at dates. One. 19 right. Okay. And that's that. All right, guys. So once we've done that, we selected daytime. Okay, that's cool. Live traffic. Let's go into the cockpit. Bear with me guys, I'll be back in a second, so you wait. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, here we are in the cockpit of the PMDG 737-700 series. Okay, what I do to do the programming of the FMC, real simple, best way to do it is press your control button and the number three together. Bam, there it is right in front of you guys. Okay, so you've got a nice big picture to work on. I normally do this first before I go into VR. It's a lot simpler guys, much easier. Okay, so you click on the FMC button. Okay, you're going to put your route in. So we are going to go K M C O, okay, which is Orlando. 
and we're going to put that in the origin, okay? So we've got KMCO, we're going from Orlando. We're going to Tampa, so we go KPPA, okay? And then we put that into our destination, which is Tampa. You can give it a flight number if you want, guys, and you can also put the runway. We're on 36 right, okay? So I'll put that here. Now remember, once you've done the initial RTE, which is the route, you're then going to go to departures and arrivals. Again, this is the way I do it. Not how the airline pilots do it, but this is the way I do it. It's a simple way, and it gets you flying the uh, 737 700 in, in an easy manner, okay? All right, so you're going to click on the departure and arrivals. Under the departure, Okay, we've got that there, so you're going to click on the minus button. Alright, and we said we're going to use the CITR1. So we've got the CITR1 there, and we're departing on 3, 6, right. So we go to the next page, we're going to click on 3, 6, right, and we're going to select CITR1. There you go, CITR1 here, and the runway is 36, right. We're going to click on the route button, okay, activate. You don't have to press execute yet, you can do, but I'll normally do that at the end. Okay, so we've got our Orlando. Okay guys, now we're gonna do the arrivals, okay? So we're looking at 19 left, and we selected on here, Dave's one. So Dave's one, there we go, we're gonna select that. So we've got Dave's one, 19 left, let's go route. And we're going to execute that as well. So we've now done our departure from Orlando and our arrival to Tampa. Now we go to the legs page just quickly. Now as you look down, you don't want to see any errors. Okay, I'll show you an error. There always is one normally. We click on our next page, which is here. Next page. Carry on going down, down, down. Actually, there's none on this one, so that's pretty cool. That's the first. Well, what will happen is, if you see a load of little lines along here, but no name, that's an error. The way you get rid of that, I can get rid of uh, Elzard, just to show you. So if Elzard was just lines, okay, that means it's an error. What you would do is you go to the one above, so in this case, it's J-K-B-A-L. You're gonna click on that, okay, and it shows up at the bottom. Then you're going to click on all the lines, which is Elzard right now, and it will move it forward. There you go, guys. That's got rid of that error, and it's given you a clean route or route. Okay, and then you would execute that. So basically, our legs are good. So our legs is uh, really good. We've got page one, two, three with the go around. Okay, so that's good. So now we're going to go to the init ref page, I-N-I-T ref page. Once you've done that, use a gross weight of 155. You can make a note of that. Use a, a, a gross weight of 155. Reserves, I normally put 20, 20 in reserves. And the cost index, uh, it varies, every airline's different, but I use 25. So we put that in there. That base, that what that does, that cost, is cost index, um, it's basically governing how much power they're going to use in that flight. In other words, how much fuel they're going to burn in that flight. So you know. Okay, we're going to fly, for this one. We're just going to fly 100, which is 10,000 feet. That's our altitude. So we type in 100 and we put it up here. You can type in 10,000, whatever you want to do. Put that up there. The wind. The wind was three two zero. Stroke. Fifteen. Thing. Make sure you put that stroke in just like that. 320 stroke 15. So we put that in there. Okay, so that all looks good. We're going to execute that. And then we're going to go to our N1 limit. Okay, you see that down the bottom right side. It's always down the bottom right side, N1 limit. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to select 10 to 1. Okay, and we're going to put in here 35, which I, I generally and we've selected our 22k D rate, 22k D rate. 
Okay, so that's all done. That looks good. Go to the takeoff page. Flaps, we're going to use five degrees, which I think is pretty standard. Okay, so we put that in there, five degrees. Now we've got all our V speeds here, which is really cool. But don't touch those yet. C and G, all you're going to do for the C and G, you click on the bar and it comes up at the bottom. You can see that 22.8. Then you go back to the bar again and click it and it automatically does the weight balance for you. And straight away, you can see your trim setting, which is 6.35. So automatically on your trim, you're going to set it up to 6.35. Okay, so once we've done that, before you put the V speeds in, because they might change when we go into the next page. So we're going to go to page two on this one. So you go down to the next page. Okay, we're going to put the winds in again, which was three, two, zero. Remember the stroke sign, 15. Okay, we'll put that up there. Really, don't get involved with that. You don't need to worry about that right now. Wet conditions, dry conditions, you decide. In this case, we are dry conditioned. So that's fine, so that's going to stay there. Okay guys, so that's all good. Now I'm going to go back to the previous page, which is page one. So once we've done that, that's fine. Let me go back to the previous page. Now I will select my V speeds, okay? So V1 is 136, VI is 142, and V2, which is rotate, which is 145. Okay guys, so once that's done, uh, that's basically it as far as that goes. So once you've done the uh, FMS, okay, what we'll do, we go down, let's get a better view. So we're going to go control, remember all the control numbers are, gi are giving you everything you need to do, okay guys? So control, okay guys, here we are on the radios, okay, now, I've got this written down from the other day, so I should be able to find this pretty simply, pretty simple, uh, well, I wrote it down, to make it right. Okay, going into Tampa. Right, here we go, guys. So the ILS, okay, so you know, is at 110.3. So you're going to type in on the ILS 11030. Okay, guys, so you see it in the bottom. Come over here, click it to the top. 11030. Come on the other side again. 110.30. Again, click it in the top. All right, so that's that done, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to select another view, okay? Here we can set up the trim. Okay, I have, a, have it fitted on my stick. So we're gonna to go to 6.3. is about there so that does that so the trim's good we know that's good all right let's go back up to the main copy view okay here we go i'm still getting used to the numbers on my keyboard i used to be able to do it with my mouse but i lost i lost that so i've done i've got to try and get that back okay so the heading of the runway i've looked this up the way you find out the information that i'm giving you now is to go to your nav charts or you could even look it up online as well and pull up the IFR charts for that airport and you can literally find all this information on those charts, okay? So the runway heading I put here, so the runway uh, heading for 19 on the IFR charts is 187 degrees. So we're gonna set this for 187. Okay, 187, same on the other side over here, change it to 187. So that way you know the runway heading for your arrival is going to be 187, guys, okay? So 187, okay, let's do that. Here we go, 187, flight director's on. You see the flight director, this little button here. Turn that on, same this side, turn that on. Okay, guys, so once you've done that, you're looking good in that respect. As I said, this is a simple way to fly the 737 from one place to another place. Okay, in this case, Orlando to Tampa. Generally, I will set the altimeter to 6,000 feet. That's generally what they ask for out of Orlando on a local flight. So I'm gonna set that to 6,000 and then I'll climb to 10. Okay guys, then what you can do, our heading right now is 006, which is on the heading indicator here. 
Okay, a little test to make sure you've set up the FMC, okay, is to go over to the command computer. That's your main computer, that's turned on, which is good. That means you're halfway there. Then we're going to check the LNAV. Okay, LNAV's good. And then we're going to check the VNAV. VNAV's good. Okay, wonderful. So what I generally do, I leave the flight computer on. Okay. Um, let's see if we can do a little departure down the runway without being on the flight computer. I'm going to give it a go for you guys. Let's see what we can do. And I'll show you what you do just as you rotate. Okay. All right. So let's put the power in. I'll try and keep it straight with my hands on the rudder pedals for you. So here we are, we're going down the runway. We've got our flight computer set on the command button. Okay. Building up speed, let me correct the rudder quickly, just to keep it straight. We are airborne. Okay, so we gear up. Let's do the gear up right now. Gear up, power back a little bit. Okay guys, now you're going to set the LNAV and the VNAV. LNAV, VNAV. There you go. Now the plane will turn on its heading. And that's it guys. And if the tower tells you to climb up to 8,000 feet for argument's sake, you just turn this to 8,000 feet. Okay. It's a bit fast on mine. Let's go to 8,000 feet. And then you hit the level change. Okay, now the plane will automatically climb up to 8,000 feet. And as you look over here, you'll see the plane's climbing. It'll climb all the way up to 8,000 feet. You'll level off at 8,000 feet. Then you click back onto the VNAV. Okay, guys, it's as simple as that. You know, it's obviously way more complicated in an airline industry, but I'm a GA pilot, so to me, this is like, woo. But uh, I learned the basics my son. I think I've told a lot of you guys before, my son flies 747, so he taught me a lot of this stuff, and uh, so at least I could sort of fly the 737, which I really enjoy, and uh, and that's it guys, real, real simple, hope you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe, really appreciate it, if you've tried it and it works, please let me know, I'd really love to hear from you, and uh, like I said, you know, it, it's just an easy way to fly the 737 700. Again, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your name, or just leave your comments down below. Don't leave your name, but leave your comments down below. And uh, thank you very much. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.